back guys uh, so in the previous video we learned how to go ahead and integrate the Google Maps in react in this video we're going to learn how to create the autocomplete location search and draggable marker uh, and mark info box so in the previous video we had gone ahead and uh, got this map loaded okay and we have this city state uh, city area state and address showing over here okay so now we're going to learn we're going to learn how to create the um, yeah the uh, autocomplete location search and etc okay so let's see okay first of all let's get the marker rolling okay so we've already imported uh, okay this needs to be marker not info window okay great so first we need to put the marker so this is the marker okay component we've got google name draggable is equal to true if you set this to false then you can't drag the marker okay and then you you have an option to set a function on drag end uh, so that uh, when the marker is dragged uh, we do something for example getting the location of the marker and we have to obviously set the position of the marker so we setting that to lat and long so let's just copy this and paste it into where's it go Okay, over here, somewhere here. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, so it has to be inside of the map. Okay, so let's see. Of course, we have to create this function also. So let's get hold of that. Where is it gone? On change. On place selected. Yeah, this is the one. Let's copy this. Okay. And paste it. <clears throat> so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, great. Awesome. So let's refresh the page. Okay, there's something wrong. Just hold on. Okay, guys, the marker actually needs to go inside of the Google map here. Oh, oh sorry. I'll just copy this again. Marker. Okay. So all of the uh, map component will go inside of Google map component. I'm inside of the map.js. Okay. So I think this time I should not get an error. Let's see. Perfect. Great. So again, guys, voila, you've got the uh, marker. Okay. And it's got the position of the marker as well. Okay. Great. Perfect. Now, uh, we have set an event, which I just, just going to explain to you what's happening inside of it. On drag and whenever the mar marker is dragged, what happens then? So basically, what we want to do is when the marker is dragged, we want to get the position of the marker. And then again, we need to, uh, you know, extract the city area state and address out of the latin long like we did in the previous video using the geocode uh, function okay and then we're going to set it set our state values to this so this will be displayed okay so let's try that so you've got uh, okay i need this function which i would have already created here yeah this is the one Let's copy this. Okay. I'm copying this just to save time, guys. Otherwise, this video will be really long. Okay, so we've got this function. When the marker is dragged, we get the event. If I console.log the event, let's see what we get. So I'm going to do an inspect element. Okay, let's refresh the page for a moment. Okay, let's drag it. Okay, so you can see that we've got the event here. What do we have an event? We have the lat long function. So this event basically gives me lat long function. And if I call those functions, I'm going to get the latitude and longitude position of the marker. And that's exactly what we need, guys, because we know that using the latitude and longitude position using geocode function, we can actually ex extract the uh, address, area, city, uh, etc. from that, right? So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to remove this console and we'll say 
new lat is equal to event dot lat long dot lat. Okay, that's how we get the um, the latitude. Okay, then we get event dot lat long dot long as I just explained to you. Okay, from here. Uh, okay, okay, we had actually removed the Google. Okay, let me just show it to you once again. <coughs> Okay, so we've got the event, as so you can see, LAT, LN, LNG, so that's what we were doing, event dot LAT, LNG dot lat function, right? So we've got the latitude, we've got the longitude, um, we are creating an empty address array, and we're calling this function again like we have done on top, okay, and we are passing the latitude and longitude because this function takes that, then it gives us a response, and response we again get the format address. I've already explained all of this in the previous video, so I won't be going through that again. So we get the address, we get the city, area, state, all of that, and we set the state uh, on top to the address, area, city, and state. And because these input variable, uh, input elements we have created, and we are saying that the value will be this dot state dot city. So as soon as these uh, value changes, whenever we set the state, automatically it's going to pick up that information and display it over here. Okay. Great guys, so we've got the marker now and we've got the dragon working. The last thing that is left is, um, in fact, there are a couple of things that are left. Uh, one is the info box on top of the marker and second is the uh, autocomplete location search. Okay, so let's take care of that one by one. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do the info window, okay. So for info window guys, we need the info window component. So I'm just going to copy this. And again, like I explained to you earlier that everything uh, that we're creating like the marker and it and everything related to map goes here. So you've got the info window. Okay. So this uh, takes a function uh, called on close when it, and the call, it calls the function. So when you click on the close button of the window, uh, this function will be called and then you can do anything that inside of that function so currently I've just defined it I haven't used it but you can decide if you want anything to be done here <coughs> okay then we are setting the position of the info window um, I'm saying this dot state dot mark position dot lat which means whatever the latitude position is uh, should be the position of this mark uh, this info window but it will be slightly higher than that okay so let's see if that's working Great guys, so you can see now, okay, I think I've zoomed it. You can see that it's slightly higher than that. You can still adjust it if it's not, I think it's gonna go a little up. You can always adjust it uh, by increasing this over here, okay? Right, let's just refresh the page. Yeah, it's perfect now, okay? So you can see that we've got the info box, okay, and um, right. Okay, and we've got the div inside of it, and inside of this we are displaying the address. Okay, so we're saying this dot state dot address. So whenever the we are setting the state of the address, automatically the address will come over here. So basically, this is the div. If I do an inspect element, so this is the div. This is the span tag. Inside of the span tag, we have got the address displaying, and that's exactly what is happening over here. You can see. Okay, that's how we've got the info window. So you've got info window off of our list now. That's been taken care of. Marker has been taken care of. Displaying map is taken care of. Dragon is taken care of. Last thing left is the um, autocomplete. Okay, so let's take care of that now. Great. So to for autocomplete, guys, you, you need to install a module called React Google Autocomplete. So we've already installed it at the beginning of the video. Uh, on the previous video okay so we've already imported that imported that on top uh, as well so in, in fact we haven't actually so let's just do that so I'm going to import it <coughs> okay. 
guys uh, this these parts are just small parts for explanation this is not the complete code complete code will be available at the end of this blog or on the github link which i will share uh, on the blog as well as on in the description box you can take the entire code from there we just i'm just showing it to you in pieces uh, you know if you just copy paste the whole thing it will not work it needs to go at the right place okay this is just for i'm just breaking these parts so you can understand you know uh, what part is used for what so in case in some of your project if you don't need the autocomplete you can you can you know remove this part if you don't need the um, draggable option you can remove that part so that's why i'm breaking these into parts okay great perfect so uh, now i'm just going to copy this autocomplete component and again as you've guessed it right where does it go it goes into the Google Maps okay so let's see I want to put it here okay you can style it uh, you can style it the way you want to uh, using this style component uh, style property then you it provides you with a function um, called on place selected uh, and this function will be called whenever user you know tries to search something and then selects a particular address okay and then this is the types for regions it also provides you with some other attributes as well um, for restriction like if you want to use the map only in India so you have certain codes for that you can check that out okay but currently we are not putting any restriction which means it can be used all across the globe great so what do you want to do basically when the user enters the address we want to call this function and again we have to do the same thing basically get the lat along once we get the lat along can extract the city area uh, address uh, state etc using the geocode function like we've been doing earlier okay so again we'll define this function quickly so I'm just going to copy this function that I've written already so as you guys you can see that that similar thing is happening in most of the callback functions okay so I'm just going to copy that <coughs> okay great so on place selected we get the place and inside of the place we get the formatted address so if I do a console log place just have to make sure I'm not console logging anywhere else okay that's fine okay let's see Brilliant. So we've got places over here, guys. You can see this part. Okay. So I think I should give some margin so it's visible clearly. So margin, let's say I give it 100 pixels for now, just for demonstration. <coughs> okay. So let's say I search one over here and I select this and let's see what happens. I'm going to do an inspect element first and I select this so sure enough you can see we've got the place and in the place inside of the place again we've got the address component and that's exactly what we needed we've got the address component so we've got the entire address right so inside of this function we are uh, we actually didn't have to use the geocode because we already had all the city address area latitude longitude uh, value and everything okay in fact in place dot geometry dot location lat we are already have a function which gives us the latitude and longitude position as well so not only we have the address we have city state area and we have the latin long as well so in the address component we'll have the entire address uh, components okay and then in formatted address we have the entire address then uh, geometry in geometry it gives us in location we have two functions latin long geometry location latin long which gives us latin long values okay and then again we are setting the state with these values so that they can be available and as soon as this state is set because the input elements that we have used have the value set to this dot state dot city area state and address uh, they will automatically pick it up from there okay brilliant guys so i think uh, we've covered uh, pretty much everything uh, in this video that's what you basically need for your project you can see that if i search 
uh, so this address you can see that it's changed it got, it's got everything filled over here it's got here map position changes map marker automatically moves to that location I can drag it again this whole thing changes great guys so guys if you did like my video for all the efforts that I've taken please do subscribe to my channel okay and share my videos with others give a thumb give a thumbs up if you still have any questions um, you can leave a note uh, in the comment box I'll be happy to answer them uh, you can follow me on the medium so you can have more blocks that are right uh, to help you out in the complex situations okay brilliant guys uh, take care then bye for now